You probably read that earlier this year, Mickey Mouse entered the public domain, meaning that it's not under copyright anymore. But you haven't read about the fact that Minnesota plays a vital part in this story. It's a tenuous connection, but stay with me. This is Charles Lindbergh, and Charles Lindbergh, you know for being the man who first crossed the Atlantic on a solo airplane mission, forever changing aviation, and for his time in the American 1920s, changing our culture. That is why we have a young boy depicted in the back, spreading his arms, imaginatively flying across the Atlantic. It's an era when aviator helmets were wildly popular with school children, and an era when a young Walt Disney chooses to animate his first iteration of Mickey Mouse on an airplane in Walt Disney's first animated picture called Plane Crazy. Later that year, Steamboat Willie would come out. You're familiar with this because at the start of every Disney animated film now, you get Steamboat Willie, but it was not the first. The first was Plain Crazy, and I would argue that without Charles Lindbergh, you would not have that as the first animated film from Walt Disney, and without Minnesota, you wouldn't have Charles Lindbergh. Minnesota, credit for Mickey Mouse.